The first time I came to Pakistan was 1996. So it was the World Cup and I was so excited. I'd been involved in commentary for a couple of years, but also to come to a place that uh, was just, you know, the mystique about Pakistan has always, always fascinated me and it still does today. Pakistan is, uh, the hospitality has always been magnificent. Um, in fact, people I, I just go out of their way to make you feel at home. And to me, that's great. And, to, to, and I've been lucky enough to see some of the regions as well. So um, that's been a, a priceless situation. So really enjoy coming to Pakistan. Long time ago, and I think I've been back probably six or seven times now. So it's, it's wonderful. The commentary thing was really something I wanted to delve into. And I remember when I was playing, when I was playing in Australia, even before I went to South Africa, and I continued this when I was playing in South Africa, uh, if I'd missed out and it wasn't scoring runs and it was a broadcast game, I'd go to the producer and say, hey, if you want someone for a little stint, I'll pop up and, and help you out for half hour or whatever. So that's something I did. And when it came to my commentary kicking off, um, it was just really a case of, of being really lucky. I suddenly realized in South Africa that they didn't know anyone who knew much about the Australians. And there I was still playing and they gave me a call. So uh, the, uh, the national broadcaster at that stage gave me a call and they sent me off for a trial on a, um, a Benson Hedges uh, domestic game. And a week later, I was doing my very first uh, uh, test match. So it was just crazy going from like a provincial player at that stage to an international commentator in the space of a, space of a week. The highlight of my commentary career was the 2003 World Cup in South Africa, where I had the enormous delight of commentating with Richie Benno. I mean, that was just sensational. That's always someone's dream. Ian Chappell was someone that I really enjoyed working with over the years. Uh, Robin Jackman was someone who was my mentor, um, so that was great as well, and he's no longer with us, unfortunately, Robin Jackman. I've worked a lot with Ramiz. Uh, Ramiz is, is a lot of fun to work with. I like Ramiz as a, as a person. I like, um, uh, I've had many chats with Ramiz because when he works with us at Supersport uh, in South Africa, and that's happened a lot, quite a bit over the last couple of years, he's been my traveling buddy. So if we're off to Cape Town or whatever, there I am and driving the car to the airport and Rambo's in the, in the passenger seat. Uh, Rambo is terrific. And I'm delighted the fact that he's, uh, he's got the, the job he's got now as chairman um, because he will rattle a couple of cages. He's a fairly determined sort of bloke. My job as a commentator is to educate. And I like to bring as much into a, a pitch report or any analysis I do, which is going to enable the, enable the viewer at home to identify with what I'm talking about. Juggle. I learned that the other day. Juggle. That was a word, because the, the guys were, 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 were central uh, Punjab were losing wickets. And I remember Baba Azam was in the middle. Uh, and he was the lone ranger as wickets were falling around and uh, he was having a chat with the batsmen as they were coming in and I got on air and I said, if I was uh, Baba Razam, all these guys coming in the bat, I think I'd be, rather than having a long chat to him, I'd just say, juggle! And get him sort of to wake up a bit and try and, uh, you know, start playing properly in bat, but that's about it. Maybe a couple of bad ones, which I can't say. I would love the fans, the cricket fans in Pakistan um, to understand, and I think they do understand that they've been badly let down by a couple of cricket nations, a couple of big cricket nations. But I'd also like them to put that aside now. I'd like them to, to put positive energy into this national T20. Um, I always say this, and it's a phrase you might have heard me say in the past, that cricket is best played when it's played instinctively. And there's no better nation on the planet than this one. No better country as well than Pakistan. There's so many things about Pakistan, the mystique about Pakistan, the, the, the warmth of the people, the, the cricket, the, the, different, the, different, uh, the different style of cricket that's played here, and of course the different challenges when you do come and play here on the park. So you've got to come. Simple, you've got to come.